Hi everybody and welcome to Homestead Tessie and I'm proud to announce a new addition to our channel. Hey my friends, it's time again for Fanny's Diary. We're on June 8th, 1942. Today I was at Mountville Mennonite Church. And we went to Mother's for dinner. Aunt Ella went to the hospital this afternoon to visit some friends. Dust off those bread machines, my friends, because every Friday is Bread Machine Friday. And I can't wait to share with you today's recipe. Hi, my friends, and welcome to a new edition to Friday. Now, for all of those who are wondering, if you didn't get the memo in my community tab, I shared with everyone that I am moving my heart to hearts and my devotions all in one on a Sunday. I thought that way it would be much better to have the two videos combined into one on a Sunday. So every Friday, I'm going to come to you with Friday's bread machine recipes. And the reason why I started doing this is I have a lot of cookbooks on using bread machine and using bread machine bread recipes. Now what I do is I only use the bread machine for mixing. We are going to bake it traditionally in the oven. All of these recipes may be used with a mixer or may be used by hand. You do not need a bread machine for any of these videos. So let's get started and I'm going to share with you what today's recipe is. It comes from the Bread Machine Cookbook and I got this cookbook when we went to the book sale. And today we're going to make sun-dried tomato and Parmesan bread. So these recipes are going to be new for me as well. And these recipes are going to be very unusual recipes. They're going to be recipes that are very authentic and very full of nutrition and food value and so much fun to make. Recipe, I will read it to you and I will try to do a screenshot as well. I am going to use the medium size. It calls for small, medium and large. And I'm afraid the large may be too large. So what we're going to do is, some of these recipes may be a little more involved, but I'm going to explain it to you very slowly and very easily so you can understand them. The recipe calls for one half cup of sun-dried tomatoes. You're going to cut them up finely and you're going to put warm water over them to soak them for 15 minutes. You're going to drain them and keep the tomato water and whatever it comes to you need to add more water to make it one cup and I'm going to show you how we do that. One half cup of milk, two tablespoons of olive oil, three and three fourth cups of bread flour, white, three fourth cup of whole wheat bread flour, two thirds cup of Parmesan cheese, one and a half teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of sugar and one teaspoon of active dry yeast. So we're going to go step by step with this because I am making these for the first time as well. All right, so I'm going to share with you where I got my sun-dried tomatoes. Now I'm looking to do some of my own this year, but I found out that our local Dollar Tree has these sun-dried tomatoes for one dollar. And that's what it looks like. So I got one package of this. What we did is we took a half cup of the sun-dried tomatoes, we chopped them up really fine, and we put warm water over them. And we're going to strain them and the water that we use to soak our tomatoes, we are going to use that water. So that came to one cup. Right, since we're doing a medium loaf, we have about one cup of water, and that's what it calls for. 
If you don't have a, the one cup of the tomato water, go ahead and add some more water to make it one cup. So we have one cup of water with the tomato juice in it. Then we're going to go with one half cup of milk. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Then it calls for three and three fourths cups of unbleached white flour. Now, bread flour. So I'm going to use all bread flour because it's going to call for another three fourth cup of wheat flour. And I don't have the wheat, but we're going to use all of the bread flour. So it calls for three and three fourths. So we're going to go with one. So we're at two. And we're going to put the rest of the flour in. That's three and three fourths. And then we're going to go ahead and do another three fourth cup. If you have whole wheat, go ahead and use the whole wheat. Calls for two teaspoons of sugar. What I always do when I'm making a recipe like this is I always have the ingredients out the day before. I have everything set up and ready to go. And then it calls for two thirds cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm just gonna put it in to what it looks like. It's about the right amount. I'm not measuring it. It's too hard to measure and it doesn't really make a difference. Then it calls for one and a half teaspoons of salt. And it says you're supposed to put the salt in the corner, in the opposite corner that the cheese was in. And then last but not least, one and a half teaspoons of yeast. And we're supposed to put the yeast in the other corner. So I'll show you when I'm done here. All right, while this looked like it was a lot of work, if you would have your ingredients measured out ahead of time, it really would be a much easier. What we are to do is we are to put this in the bread machine. When the beep goes off, beep, 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 that is when you are going to add your finely cut sun-dried tomatoes. We do not add the tomatoes until it's at the end of its mixing cycle. And I will show you how to do that when it, the time comes. So let me go ahead, put all of this stuff away, show you what it looks like in the bread pan, and then we'll get with the next step. All right, so that is what it looks like in the bread pan. We have the yeast on one corner, the salt on the other, and the cheese up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the dough setting. And we're gonna start. Now, depending on your temperature, depending on your humidity, depending on a lot of factors, you may have to add a little more flour or a little more water. You're going to want to have a nice dough. So we are going to watch this mix a little bit and then I will get back to you and show you what it looks like when the dough is started to form. As you see, I don't have to add anything what it looks like. You want to add as little bit of flour as you possibly can. You want it to be a little bit sticky but not too sticky that it is not forming a dough. But you do not want to have extra flour that makes a really heavy bread. 
This bread is turning out perfect. And that is the tomatoes, and we're going to add that when the beeper goes it. off on the bread machine. This dough is. And when that happens, I'll get back to you. I didn't add stuff. anything to it. All right, now we're going to add our tomatoes. And now I'm going to add a little more flour because the tomatoes were very wet. Now it's going to take another five or six minutes to incorporate all these tomatoes into this dough. But as you see, it's starting to do that. When your dough is finished rising and you would like, you can go ahead and you can hand knead it a little bit just to get the rest of those tomatoes in it, if there's some that are lingering. So, this is what our amazing bread looks like. Hold it up to you to show you. It's a beautiful dough, it's not sticky, but it's not dry, and all we're going to do is we're going to work it a little bit so it's nice and uniformed and it's a nice looking dough. Very nice, very happy with it. Roll it around a couple times, smooth it out. Then I'm going to take my baking bread. It's like a stone, it's called Henstone. I got this from a friend. Local discount grocery store, I got this. It is aerosol free. Um, it is walnut spray. So cooking spray and it is non-GMO, organic, and we're going to use that and we're going to put it for our bread. Make sure the sides are good and coated. All right, everyone, the bread is ready to bake. And what I did is I put a little bit of hot water in a bowl and this produces amazing humidity and this will help your bread to rise if you have a damp or cool day. So let's turn the oven on to 350 and we'll bake this for about 30 minutes. Well everyone, the tomato parmesan bread is finished and it baked really nice. Now I'm going to let this cool totally before I cut it being that it's more of a denser bread because of look at the beautiful the beautiful bits of tomato in there so I'll get back to you when it's all finished and we'll cut it up and we'll give it a try since this is such a dense bread we are going to take the electric knife and we are going to cut it up so let's get started and see what it really looks like Let's give it a try. Tomato and Parmesan bread. Now this is the test. Like I said, I've never made it before. Mmm, mmm. That is amazing. This would be perfect with a bowl of spaghetti, with some lasagna, or with salad. I give it a thumbs up. I hope you try it and let me know what you think. This would be perfect 
to cut up and make croutons with it. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and make another loaf and I'm going to make croutons with it for a salad. Perfect, perfect combination. Take care.